So I did a video on this game called King of the Bridge, which is a chess-like game, but there's various cursed rules, and you're playing against an enemy troll. There are some extras, well, really in the options. If you go in here, you can play this game on the speed mode, and you can set it to bullet time. I also plan on showing all the endings in this video, so I guess we'll be doing the so-called bad ending first, which, you know... <laughs> Kind of ridiculous, but it's the easiest ending to achieve. So here, we would be greeted by this troll. Just under your nose, tip of your tongue. We're not actually going to read that lore, but basically, we got a rule book. Now, this rule book actually resets. Wait, no, it doesn't. Wait, what the hell? Didn't reset? Well, damn. But, uh, yes, we're playing bullet time, so we definitely don't want to take time for our moves. Um... So I'm just gonna, like, literally just let my opponent do stuff. You can see that we have a timer on the left, but this is a bullet time, so I don't want to waste moves here. Pawns also move in a cursed way, by the way. They do not capture diagonally, so, like, it's very important- oh god. Don't let the time- it's, it's important to just make moves here. So the pawn actually just attacks vertically and horizontally one square. I am going to, like, basically wait until my opponent makes a mistake, basically. Capture, that's- I think pawns can also capture backwards, which is completely valid. That pawn currently isn't- there's currently no defense here, I think. That just jumped over, hold on. Rulebook, rulebook, rap- oh no. Rulebook. Here. Blackbrook jump when only- this is not valid. So, you may cheat this turn. However, the thing is that the freaking- this this rook is annoyingly in the way, which means that we basically have to be for we basically have to capture, which is sad that like my opponent is uh incentivized to do those things. Also, this bishop being here, it's actually a legal move. So, uh, and more <laughs> just how this game works, sadly. Um, all right. The king, by the way, uh, we do not win if the king is taken, so that's why I'm not taking the king right now. As bad as it looks. Also, you can't take that. You can only move your own colored pieces. So, we report this move. And cheating takes forever, by the way. What, you saw that? I thought you blinked. Uh, yes. Alright, so now we just spend, a, like, a pawn to take that. The pawn also ascended. Maybe that was the wrong move. The pawn deleted itself. Alright, we, um... We do here. We do some meaningless move with the queen. We buy time for my opponent to cheat or something. This is not defended. Uh oh, where the hell did that bishop go? I literally can't. Couldn't tell where the bishop was. All right. Um. Here. God. Just just make a move. Any move. Also, the stacking is stupid as hell. Like. The, the pawn move diagonally. Accuse. Pawn move big-minded. Alright, confirm. <laughs> you may cheat this turn. Alright. You ascend to my... Alright. This pawn... The, currently, this is not actually a trap situation. What the? God damn it, Bishop. What the hell? Alright. We'll just take... Um... That pawn is on a slippery square. Yeah, actually, that that's completely undefended, actually. This, this king forward. You can't move my piece. You can't. Alright, confirm. There certainly are a lot of accusations I'm making here. Whoopsie. Everyone makes mistakes, right? No. Alright, take that. It's slippery. Uh, that is also free. The The board flips because there's a rule about the queen doing that. Also, the, the pawn can't move that way, but it's not worth the time. Pawns don't all promote either, so, uh... <laughs> Alright, please, the, the, the king's not hitting me, right? Oh my gosh, let's just fix this pawn right now. Uh, fix this pawn as well. If the bishop switches colors by cheating, I'll never see it, by the way. Okay. You can't do that, but... Okay, hold on. Uh, uh... That pawn cheated. I need to do this because there is a, um, there's a bishop here and I would need to capture it. Go on, then cheat. Boom. You can't, okay, this is actually not a cheat for my opponent to, uh, do that, by the way. Like, my, my opponent can, in fact, move the queen. Alright, so, there it is. That's, um, Act 3. Look at that! Look at all those achievements. 
you got me. I may have not won the game, but at least I'll leave a worthy successor. You cheater. This is the bad ending because I am considered a cheater now. And, uh... Quack. Woo. <laughs> you remain on the bridge after one attempt. Yep. One attempt, as in, uh... <laughs> The attempt I just did, obviously. We're gonna shut off the timer for this next run. We start in Act 2 because we're a spaghetti fest. But uh, if you go across the screen in Act 2... Well, first of all, there's this nice troll effect where no matter how far down you go, if you go back up, the troll is right there. You can also walk past the troll, which is, um, weird. But the idea is if you walk long enough... Okay, I literally pressed wipe save file and they're not there, so I'm just gonna show you my previous footage where there are notes on the ground here. Okay, well, there's some meme notes like this one, where it's like, oh, what do you name the horse? There's also rule 33 about an evil duck. And also, they must never reach the great beyond, which is directly re referencing an ending in the game called the Ascension Ending, which I'll get later this video. Also, the reason I know about it in advance is because the developer literally made a contest that <laughs> said there was the ending name and it just spoils the hell out of it. It. That ascension ending refers to how the pawns ascend uh, instead of promoting when they reach the farthest space on the board. Alright, so let's try to get the good ending. The good ending is the ending you get when you never cheat. Because if you read the bad ending, the bad ending text is like... It mentions, oh, you're such a cheater. Um, that's a slippery tile. That That's the free knight. Thank you for the free piece. That's an adjustment, which is fine. Moving backwards is also valid. My opponents seem to love freaking cheating with the rook, so we're not going to allow that this time. That's an adjustment move, which is that The queen cannot jump like that. However, um, a, a problem is in the good ending, which is where you never cheat, you can't take advantage of the freaking cheat. I mean, this bishop is just... Well, it's it looks hang, but it's actually not really. And my opponent even freaking take it. It's because the bishop is on a slippery tile. That's why my opponent should not have taken it. And uh, my opponent ended up not taking it anyway. How I orchestrate this whole thing with a typo? Magic. Alright. He's not attacking there. It's not a real threat, really. Knight moves. I can do that because the pawn can attack forward. This is quite annoying because my opponent's not hanging any pieces right here. Probably want to bring a rook forward. That bit- oh wait, what the- no, that- that- that's defended, ugh. I don't the good ending is that, like... What? Sure, thanks for the queen. So, like, I'll just move it here, I guess. And fix this pawn, so that, you know, it's- it's not- because, like, it's on a slippery tile, meaning that I had to waste the turn to adjust it. Like, nice slippery tile. <laughs> But yeah, like, you basically have to wait for your opponent to drop pieces, but meanwhile they can just cheat on your face and, like, you, there's nothing you can do about it. I guess there's actually one thing I can do. This is actually a valid move for my bishop. Okay, my... It's not a valid move for them because they can't... They should not be able to move my pieces, but I am incentivized to not really care. I cannot promote, so... Let me just take a piece. I take another pawn. And, in fact, I do this move. This is a meme move because two two rooks, there is a rule where... What the heck is it? If two towers aren't not adjacent, they form a castle. So that is a... Uh, effectively let me trade for that piece. Quite a dumb move, but, you know. I'd like to simplify the game to make it go faster. Get ready for a special move. What a special move that was. Uh, that's... I can't freaking move that out, unfortunately. You can't move my pieces. Uh, well, un unfortunately, I... That's a freaking good ending path is a meme. The only vaguely cheating move I can do is there. Fail to accuse three cheat moves in a single game gives me the oblivious achievement. Amazing. I don't think my opponent can punish this, can they? They can kind of. No, I think I should take this pawn. Do that. And my opponent can't punish that, so... Okay. Bishop move that's attacking my king and this rook. Oh my god. How awful. How does that even happen? Rest in peace, rook. 
I guess I can trade for this. Probably want to defend this stuff. Unfortunately, getting a bishop off of its, uh... Its, its thievery is very hard. If you think capture my king will let you pass, yes, I cannot capture my opponent's king to win the game. Opponent dropped this rook, though. Very nice. The board flipped because the queen is a special ability. The rule 21, the queen, the world flips upside down, but like sideways. Anyway, maybe we move this bishop. Okay, we want trades, right? So there we go. This is no longer defended. You can't capture like that, but I... Nothing I can do about it. Okay, we make another queen capture. That bishop is, um, I really want to get rid of that bishop. That's, uh, attacking that pawn. That's a real attack. You can't do- what the hell is that move? Undo that right now. Okay, so another cursed thing about this game is, like, I can't do any- like, I, I, I am not incentivized to capture this king, basically. Because there's a rule where I die if the- queen gets nearby the king. I don't exactly know where it triggers, though. What the heck is it? The queen may not have an affair, so it's considered cheating. I'd rather not take the risk of even taking that king in this case, so... Let's do that. Maybe, maybe trade for the bishop now, if that'll even be allowed. And fortunately, it's just kind of like a matter of waiting. Whether that bishop will even come to me or not. Okay. Like, the bishop is basically not trappable. Please do not perform a struggle and look me away. My character is stupidity. Whatever. Maybe we should just use pawns to try to make this king capture. Okay. Friggin' skeleton army. Uh, that was not a valid move. Okay, so I should be a little bit worried. The king is now on the same, uh, it can be checked. So we're just gonna move it out. Alright, let's just proceed with the stupid pawn plan. Technically, the bishop cannot stand on these pieces of knowledge bombs. We, we, I guess we call these freaking yellow things knowledge bombs. They're called gifts of knowledge. G gen generate a hundred Valorate scraps. Incredible and very useless. Anyway, this is why the good enemy takes forever. That's, uh... I, I, he, like, you gotta look at the freaking examine the stupid diagonals every time. Unfortunately, that is a valid move, by the way. I... Well, the queen was useless anyway. <sighs> Man, I don't even know. I would only accuse someone of cheating if I were absolutely sure. Not that I would ever cheat against you. We should move there. Look, I'm just gonna move this here. And assume that this diagonal isn't on the same, like... Because this really needs to be defended. What the hell? It's attacking this thing? My king's being attacked. Clownish scenario. Oh, my opponent just let this get captured. Interesting. That will ascend now, but the problem is the bishop will become a king. And how am I even going to capture it in this freaking state? I need to move all my crap back. Okay. And yes, you, you, the king has got freaking hits, supposedly. Some rock music hits. <laughs> you can't do that. But you know what? I guess you can. Anyway, we're gonna prevent uh, the king from making a re the enemy king from making a reasonable move, as the king is always go having to go back and forth between these and not slip. I, I, I legit messed up. Oh my god. Alright, well that sucks. <laughs> How did that even happen? Hmm, I wonder if my opponent can can uh, report my last move as a cheat if it captures the king. 
probably is. They would have a defense against that. What? Dude, just no. But how would I even counter that, man? Here. Here it comes. Alright, finally. I'm sorry for that joke ending, but there it is. And I never cheated a single time. Even after all my tricks, you still refuse to cheat? Are you some kind of idiot? Why won't you do it? Are you trying to teach me a lesson? You can't change me. You can't change me. You can't change me. You can't change me. Dead. <laughs> you cross the bridge. That's the good ending after two attempts. Woo. <laughs> and I collected some scraps. You cheated a total of six times. Doubt. X to doubt. I mean, okay, it counts the bad ending stuff, whatever. Okay, so we're gonna actually try for the ascension ending. Uh, properly, which means we'll do that, and then ascends the pawn, as well as removing an annoying enemy piece. It's not an actual threat. That is, though. And I don't really have a choice against it. What the hell is that, man? The, 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 the knight? Yes. Alright, um, anyway. Do not tell the others. Alright, let's... Move that away and get rid of your queen. It's not actually defended, so I can go here. This knight's hitting a bunch of squares that aren't really defended. Oh, this, that's a slippery tile? Are you kidding me? Alright, so we need to fix it. There we go. That's, that's not actually defended. Alright, seems like this is going smoother. You're never crossing this bridge. Not defended. That moved backwards, which is a valid move, actually. That rook, I mean, bishop for rook is a good change, so I'm gonna do it. Let's try to trade off stuff. Like, you can't jump over pieces. Yep. Let me cheat this turn. Alright, what you saw that? Thought you blinked. Um, okay, let's get this pawn over here, ascending it as well. I just lost the piece that I probably should not have. <laughs> anyway, let's try to send something out of you. Well, it's actually a valid move, so whoops. Nothing to do there. That's attacking my, uh, rook. Oh, this is free now. Diagonals aren't real. That one is kind of real, though. Let's just trade a knight for two pawns and get this, uh, faster. That's only attacking this pawn. Let's bring this back. Alright, now we have a free ascension here, pretty much. Slip. <clears throat> You can't move diagonally. Pawns move like this because they are small-minded. And black pawn move big-minded. There you go. Alright, let's... let's... Oh, how that, how that piece get there? That's crazy. Alright. Do that. Sending another pawn. They say only the horse guy can jump. But I do a mean somersault when it comes to it. Whatever. That is not attacking anything of no of any substance. You can't move my pieces. White pawn. Yep. You may cheat this turn. All right. It's only a small setback, so I have your revenge now. Right, so let's route around this freaking uh king here, the troll king. What are you smelling right now? It's the blood and sweat I poured. My lack of bathing is a testament to my dedication. Was that valid? That didn't feel valid. I I can't tell. I kind of forgot what happened already. Especially if it moved to a wrong diagonal, I wouldn't be able to tell. Okay, let's move this upwards. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, who cares? I'm gonna try to attack it, actually. And then it's off the diagonal, but... 
Let's get another ascension going. And, okay. We have ascended, I believe, eight pawns. Pawn, pawn, pawn. Let's, hey, that pawn's outside of the board. That's not legal. Let's, let's, no. <laughs> what is this, tidy? Okay, he didn't fill the whole board. And, and goodbye. <laughs> Pawns are moving a little too big-minded, to be honest with you. <laughs> you have ascended. Okay, that's the ascension ending. Very nice. Very nice. But you remain on the bridge after 20 attempts. Oh my god. Shut up about the 20 attempts. That is like... No. <laughs> that's... That's taking the, um, <laughs> the data I had on my first run. Should I reset that? It's, like, not real. Look, all I know is that there is a goose ending, not sh not how to trigger it. Wait, th this dialogue I haven't seen. I did a lot of soul-searching to get inspiration for Rule 23. What a cool secret. What is Rule 23? Towers can eat friendly pieces to increase their power. <laughs> What a useless rule. Also, like, chess piece is not even trying. Had an affair. Is bad at counting. I just want to read all these freaking rules first. Not slippery, was moved. Did not work out of town. Step to close. To close. Step to close. Chess piece did not adjust their damage power. Forgot to bring a gift. White pawn did not flip horizontally. Wait, is that a thing that can happen? Did not ascend. I don't think it's possible to break that. Dates back to the wrinkled ages. Does not know move etiquette. Did not generate scraps. <laughs> did not merge into a castle. These things happen automatically. Chess piece did not get supper. Traveled in direction of X. Chess piece did not support the monarchy. Chess piece nays. Chess piece was not a metaphor. Wrongly defined backwards. Was also a queen. Clown rules. I, don't, I, I wish those were... Oh, can you violate the table of contents? <laughs> Chess piece is not content. Look, I'm not content. White king is not content. I couldn't make it clickbait. Ah, oh, false accusation. Alright. I'm sorry this is not part of the duck ending. Boom. Although... Okay. Alright, that doesn't actually do anything, by the way. Because that's a cheat. The queen may not have an affair. It goes against troll lore. Whatever. Okay, okay, now I'll play seriously. We'll try to find the duck. The goose or, or something, I don't know. And it might, like, just take time. My opponent just let me capture a freaking piece for free. Amazing high-quality slippery tiles. Oops, that's not defended, and uh, opponent didn't bother punishing me for the mistake. That's not defended. Wait, no, no, the, the, the queen defends it, whatever. But yeah, uh, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just want to move all this upwards. Like, I, I saw a, I saw a goose in a failed run before, and I didn't really know what to do with it. Uh, my rook's getting hit. Well, so far, I've waited on this for like three minutes, and... I really just need to actually accuse at this point, because this run, I can accuse things, but this rook cannot jump over other piece. The main thing is that I don't know what to do to get that goose to appear again. I am a troll of honor. You know, own up to my mistake, whatever. Funny this could this cheat lets you switch the bishop to the other color. Let's let's do that. What what? What? How is there not a rule against oh no? Don't try anything. Did a did a goose appear? What the hell? What just happened? <laughs> no, come back, goose, come back, stop. <laughs> what the hell, goose? This is not what I expect. 
I just, I'm like, oh, where's the goose? And the freaking goose just appeared beneath the freaking bridge. And I, I don't know if that goose is ever coming back. Okay, let's just do stuff and see if a goose comes back. This knight's also really vulnerable. Oh my gosh. And of course my opponent fixed it. You are never crossing this bridge. Thanks, Buggymon. Oops, that isn't defended either. Well, because I ruined it with the bishop. Oh my god, I suck at this game. Fine, I'll take it, I guess. That's, an, that's a real attack because of the way that uh, pawns move. But I really poorly center that pawn. It's, it's so cursed that the freaking pe... <gasps> Screw you. You can't do that, by the way. Pawn move big-minded. Shut up. Alright. All these accusations is a waste of my time. Why prolong your loss? Sure, we'll just take that, I guess. See, we don't have any pieces real, really. How do I orchestrate this thing? Magic, duh. Troll magic. That pawn's now being attacked for real. I cannot step on these, by the way. Dang it. Get ready for my special move. What a, what a real special move that was. What? You ch- What? I accidentally moved the freaking knight. Oh my god. I accidentally moved the knight up because it was in between spaces and I- Oh my gosh. Let's freaking- Oh, the goose is back. Hello, goose. Um, uh, king, king. You cheated. Seriously, I was trying to put another piece on the goose. Color blindness nonsense. Oh, I should have tried something when the goose was still on the board. Um, even after dying, though that probably would have not done anything. Okay, so I waited long enough, and there's the freaking goose, which is great. Um, but I'm so worried that, the, the, like, I know it'll appear on the other side. I guess that's fine. But it's really annoying that I, that it could just be counted as an not valid move. So I want to put either the, our king or that king on it. <laughs> How is there not a rule against that? Don't try anything. I mean, if the... You wouldn't mean I cheated! Cheating? A crown raised wood? No. No! Oh, so that's the cheat, huh? Hmm... So what you mean to say is that I just need to do that except the king? Well, then probably I can't move the opponent king. That's just not a valid move any time then. So, <laughs> okay, just, just gotta wait another few minutes, but then move the king to like the side of the board where that makes sense. Which is actually pretty cool that like that's the condition for it then. Well, I'm not really gonna show that because it's really obvious that it's a thing that's possible. Well, meanwhile, my opponent has moved the rook diagonally off the board. What a meme. Uh... I mean, here's my response. I guess you, you also have traveled in the direction of X, but... I think my response is that we're just gonna let... We're just gonna move the rook, like... There. <laughs> Exclusion. Move a black piece that does not work out of, t out of town. Whatever. The rook's basically irrelevant now anyway. So now I'll move the king to the edge and then wait for the goose to appear. Oh, come on. There's a slippery tile there. Whatever. Uh, the duck is back. The the goose is back, rather. Alright, so it's kind of moving in this direction, so... I don't know when it decides to start walking over the board, by the way. I'm not really sure. Wait, and there's also another problem. Doesn't this count as an out-of-town move? Hmm. Wait, this doesn't make any sense. Can move it. Okay, hold on. Okay, I just put the king on the goose, and I'm pretty sure that's a valid move now. <laughs> uh, 
Yo, but when are you gonna swim on the river and, and freaking leave? I wanna know that. <laughs> now, don't move next to the black ponds. There might be illegal capture that way. Quack. Or, does, can it ever go on the water? Yes, it does. Great, great. The funny thing is that we're technically not really the White King. <laughs> But, whatever. Like, we're, we're some protagonists on the overworld. <laughs> is anything special? Please, please. You know what would be really unsatisfying? Is if the goose that ends up freaking appearing from the right side again. Alright, so if the, doing it on the White King doesn't work, then I needed to do it on the other king. And on a cheat accusation move. That, that's the only way, then. Alright. Okay, I've been waiting for a while and the freaking Goose King has not come back. Whoops. <laughs> That's hilarious that I just ruined how easy it was to win with that freaking move. Um, wow. My opponent just moved. The I swear my opponent just moved the freaking. It was probably just a just move. <laughs> my opponent just moved the freaking rook that was all the way on the side of the screen. Can I even do something about that? I do wonder, because I'm the one who moved it out of town in the first place. Oh, wow, it does work as a cheat. Hilarious. All right. That's amazing. This is a gift of knowledge to get rid of you. <laughs> okay. And, wait, I can't... I can't can I select that one? I don't know. The whole point is this. Like, I just want to end the game right now. Let me cheat this turn. Alright, goodbye. Yeah, I don't think it's... They acknowledge that my freaking goose was on a king. Or a king was on a goose. This is just a bad ending again. Okay, so I just wipe my save. Uh, and and I, the freaking opponent has obviously moved the knight onto another of their freaking pieces. I don't freaking... I, I wiped the save last time. Uh, so, the Black Knight made it... This is really breaking two rules. But the whole point of this, actually, is so that I have the You May Cheat this turn. And then I just wait for the goose. Here's the duck! Here's the duck! Oh, don't hide behind the rule book. I mean, the, the goose, whatever. So, let's... Let's... There we go! <laughs> what? Put me back right now! Get me off this chicken, you cheater! Don't you dare do this to me! You're under the bridge now, the troll is- No, no, no! We are not fading out! Stop! The troll's under the b but but the troll is supposed to be under the bridge. Don't think you can outsmart me! I'll get off this animal! And when I do, you'll be out of town! And <laughs> I'll find another bridge. Quack. <laughs> Don't turn into no nonsense. It's it's not possible to do this ending. Please become a duck. That'd be way funnier than no. <laughs> sure, what an ending. You got rid of the troll, but you remain on the bridge after one attempt. It took you eight. Most of that was freaking waiting for the goose to appear. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'll end this with this one last thing. These. The bishop, whenever the bishop moves, it leaves these things called gifts of knowledge. Yeah, bishops drop their bishops drop their gift of knowledge when they leave a tile. But uh, you can't move this in any way. Like it just that's a cheat. And like so, I've never been touching these things. Like do not move the gifts. Yeah. But also when a when a piece goes on to a gift of knowledge, it dies. And I wonder if I can do a fake accusation on a rule three to reveal it. Black pawn. It's an accusation to nothing. Yeah, I think you're seeing things, pal. But there are also, like, achievements. So, rule nine. I may cheat, and I'm gonna put this rook on the gift of knowledge. There's an achievement for that. I'm also- I'm kind of waiting for the freaking rule three to get revealed. I'm just gonna show the rule on screen because the freaking game isn't unlocking it, but... See, they could also move the queens of the other color. Now, combine that with the gift of knowledge. And it means it's a valid move to sacrifice the queen on it, which, yes, that gives you an achievement. Very nice.
Anyway, goodbye. I'm playing old, old chess battle advance now. Hope you will enjoy.